Hello everybody, Hatches Lanes here, and welcome to another review. And as you can tell, the camera's a little bit lower, but that's because we're going to be doing a triple review. And, um, also today's review is going to be focusing on the Jack Pacific Godzilla King of the Monsters battle sets. And let's go over them. So the first one is the normal Godzilla that comes with King Ghidorah. Who unfortunately will not stand, so I got something. Black tape. So yeah, there we go. He's standing up. And then the second one is the Atomic uh, Godzilla. And he comes with Rodan. Actually, he's not standing up uh, quite correctly. That's because he has a little bit of a leg problem, unfortunately. So, just trying to get that back in. I wonder if he loses a leg in the movie. Spoilers. And then... The Fire Godzilla, who comes with Mothra. And actually, they come with something else. Now, um... Uh, now, the normal Godzilla comes with this little backdrop here of, uh, Boston. Never happens in the movie, but... Okay. Um, and then the next one, which is uh, the Atomic uh, Godzilla, is the volcano that um, uh, they erupts uh, during the Rodan scene. Very cool also. And they also come with a little stand, which is very, very useful. And then finally, probably the one that I think looks the best is the temple. Marshall has a little temple in China. Ooh, spoilers! Eh, yeah, whatever. You've already seen the video in the movie. So, let's go over each, um, um, each set, and we're going to start off with the regular one. So, let's get these out of the way. Really fast. Or actually, you know let's just go over the Godzillas. I'll build a review of the, uh, of the monsters later. Let's just review uh, the uh, Godzillas for right now. So, let's take a look at them. And let's just take a look at the normal one first. So, the normal one... It's got really good detail, like, for a small figure of this size, like, as you can see, like, the detail is actually not too bad. The, um, the scales here look uh, very nice. Uh, the spines, they look decent. The tail is, is also pretty long, too. Like, it's a pretty long tail. Like, look at that. Pretty long. But the face could use a little bit of work, especially with the paint. Like, yeah. The paint could use a little bit of work on um, on all of them, actually. The paint, uh, the teeth especially, they could use a little bit of work. But for what's here, it's not too bad. Like, I feel like they could use a little bit of paint here on the uh, spines, but that's fine. I feel like uh, the uh, paint here that they use, like, a sort of, like, um, sort of a grayish color for uh, this one is not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. So then let's look at the, um, uh, the atomic one. The atomic one I feel like is probably the worst um, out of these two to be perfectly honest. Like it does look fine. And I feel like uh, the eyes are probably the best on uh, this one at least. Or if they're even there. But yeah, as you can see the uh, paint on this one is a, is a little bit more dull as compared to uh, the other one. Which I feel like this one has like battle damage or something. But I don't know, like this one it just doesn't... It's just not the better one to me. Like, I feel like they should have um, uh, continued the spines all the way to here, but we'll get to that with this guy. With uh, the uh, fire guys. But overall, it's not too bad, but I kind of wish uh, there was a little bit more of a glowing effect here as opposed to just spraying it. You know? And then let's get to this one. The, uh, I guess, Cheeto Godzilla. I don't know. But the Burning Godzilla is not too bad. It's um, it's kind of a tie between these two. But as you can tell, I kind of like the normal one better. But uh, but I do like the fire one um too. Like I do like all of them. But it's just that uh, this one, it kind of feels like they could have done a little bit more with this one. Like I don't know. Like um, it does not look accurate to the movie at all, <laughs> as we see in the movie. Like this is not accurate. But. From what we got here, it's not too bad, but I feel like the paint on this one's a little bit worse. Because the paint just stops here on the, um, 
on the tail. Like, you see the red or the orange, and then it just, it just cuts off. So I don't know what's happening there. So overall, um, in terms of pain, I like this one better. Or just on, or just in general, I kind of like uh, this one better. So, uh, so, uh, uh, so let's move on to articulation for these two and it's, or three, and it's pretty much the same. Uh, the head can move. The arms can also move as well. So they can go up and down. They really can't move like 360. And if you try to force it, I feel like it may break. Uh, the legs, they can also rotate, but they can't move too much. They can only go so far. Kick for that much. Not too much of a back kick. And then the tail actually has two points. One here. And then one here. So yeah, pretty interesting that they would do that. So that's one, three, five, seven. Seven points of articulation. Not too bad. And that's for all three of them. So then let's move these guys out of the way. Actually, hold on. Uh, let's just have uh, the normal one here for just a second. Let's actually compare two uh, to this figure. And that is the uh, first uh, a tiny uh, American Godzilla we got. And that is the 2014 one. Now, strangely enough, this one is actually smaller compared to this one. In reality, it sh he should be a little bit bigger, like that much, but he isn't. That's a little weird, don't you think? And it's even worse when you take out the uh, Japan smaller Godzilla. Yeah, as you can see, a little bit weird as to how this one is bigger. Hmm, very weird indeed. But anyway. Let's move on to the monsters, or the other ones. And to bring them out, let's bring out Mothra, Rodan, and then King Ghidorah, who I'm just going to be really fiddling around with because he just cannot stand. So I'm just going to put the tape there. I'm actually going to review this guy last. Let's first review Mothra. Now, the sculpt on Mothra, I feel like, is kind of the best uh, uh, um, of the three. Like, uh, let's zoom in. Come on. Focus. Focus. Come on now. Okay, there we go. But as you can see, the sculpt here is very nicely done uh, for what's here on Mothra. Like, um, like the arms here, the, uh, the sights, they're very nicely done. Um, I feel like uh, they could have been a little bit sharper, but you know what? That's fine. The body as well looks very nice as well, unfortunately. Now you can kind of see the antennas on her head. Come on, camera. Uh, yeah, you can see the antennas ever so slightly on the head. The legs, they're, uh, they're nicely done, and geez, the camera just does not like Mothra. So the body is also really nice. Um, um, oh yeah, then her wingspan is pretty big too. Like, this is a really big wingspan for such a small figure. Now the paint, I feel like it could have been done a lot better. Like they just, I uh, just uh, left it brown. Now some Mothras don't have painted eyes, but thankfully mine do. Let's try to zoom in once again. Hopefully it can focus again and not screw up on me. Come on, let's go. Hurry up. Hey, come on. Focus. There we go. Yeah, as you can see, uh, the eyes are painted blue, as they should be, but some don't have them, have the blue uh, eyes. Now, a lot of people say that uh, the uh, the paint here on the um, on the wings is inaccurate. It's actually kind of accurate. I mean, she was red um, uh, most of the movie. She's, I mean, there's hints of blue, but there's not that much blue. So, I mean, uh, but then again, uh, I do like the paint on this. Um, on this here, it looks nice. It does look nice. Now, as for articulation, the wings can on. Uh, now, the wings are in a ball joint, so you can flap them. You can flap them, you can turn them as well. Give her this very, like, intimidating pose here. Like that, like as if uh, sh uh, she's a cat or something. So, yeah. She doesn't come with a stand, but I kind of use uh, those stands over there. 
Because usually I don't have uh, those um, standing up, so yeah, so Malfoy is really nice. Now let's move on to Rodan. Now, I feel like Rodan, um, I'm not trying, uh, okay, now I kind of take back what I said about uh, Mothra and she being the best. I feel like uh, she, um, I feel like she is kind of the worst um, out of the two, but at the same time not. Like, I don't like all three of these, but I feel like the sculpt on Rodan is very nice too. Although he is very, like, not camera, um, not camera friendly because he is freaking red as heck. Anyway, but uh, but yeah, the sculpt on Rodan is very nice. Like um, like uh, the uh, like the scales here on his um, his wings are very nice. A little bit too much, but it's nice nonetheless. And it just gives him like uh, a, this like um, this kind of appearance that he just came out of a um a volcano. And yeah, it just looks very nice, and the paint like really uh, complements it, and how it's just pure red. And it just gives him this fiery appearance, which just looks very cool. So yeah, very nice there. Um, and as for articulation, um, it, um, his main points are his wings, where he can flap them. So you could give him like this flapping um, motion. And if you want to, you could do uh, the barrel roll as well. So yeah, there we go. His head can also turn, but it's a little bit stiff on mine. Yeah, as you can see. Like, I had to, like, really push it. But, yeah, his head can move, so he can look right, look left. Yeah. And his legs can also move, but the left one, or the right, right or left on mine is a little bit loose. Like, it does come off. So, yeah. Unfortunately for me, he does, he stands all a little bit awkwardly, in which I had to position him, like, 24-7. To stand up properly, so yeah, there we go. And then finally, the big boy. Let's remove the and let's remove the tape and let's move on to King Ghidorah. Now, King Ghidorah, I feel like has the best sculpt out of the two. I really like the heads on him. The heads look very menacing as they do in the movie. And I like how uh, uh, the um, uh, the detail here is the mane. Um, there wasn't a mane in the movie, but that was like a prototype thing with uh, King Adora. So very nice there, and very cool that they kept that in. And for a tiny ear figure, like it's actually really nice. Like especially the back here, the back has this really nice like muscular sort of um, sort of feel to it. Like, this feels like a powerful Ghidorah uh, that I have here. And the wings are very large. Like, even for a tiny figure, these these are huge wings. And they're pretty heavy, too. Like, for a figure, they're pretty heavy. And the tails, they're very, like, slender. Um, and also, like, um, and also the tip of the tails are kind of like a rattlesnake. Like, in the movie, uh, they kind of rattle. Um, the... Uh, like a rattler of a, a wood and I I would love it the uh, camera would focus on this come on camera focus focus no you don't want to focus okay fine fine we don't have to focus then but yeah, um now in terms of paint he really doesn't have that much except for like maybe a few sh a few uh, shading on uh, the belly here but other than that like there's no paint at all so let's move on to articulation. So, uh, you, so as you can see here, the wings do rotate, so or flap. So there you go. You could give them like a flappy motion. The legs can also move. Nice kick uh, forward. Nice kick back. The tails can also turn. Uh, they can be loose. And oops, there goes Rodan. Uh, the tails can uh, turn as well. So you can have them like um, in different poses. Like if you want them flying, you can have them flying. So on and so forth. And um, um, and now the heads, the all the heads can also rotate. This one can move, pretty much uh, side to side, as well as this one. But this one here, it moves like that. That's kind of like a um, um it's kind of a detail to um, the uh, head uh, Kevin from uh, the movie um. 
Uh, some people nickname it Kevin, and I do as well. Now, unfortunately, this guy does not like to stand, like, on anyone. Like, right now, he's fine. Like, this... Oh, uh, uh, like, the way he is right, uh, right now, he's fine. So I may actually, like, screenshot this or whatever. But, yeah, most of the time, I do have to put this here. Which I may act... Uh, which I may actually put right now because the wings just did that. So, I'm just gonna put him to the side for a bit. As well as the other monsters. And then let's do the size comparison. And I'm just gonna leave out the other two and just pull in this guy here. Let's compare him to Mothra. Now, I feel like, um, and I feel like uh, this is somewhat accurate because, well, actually, you know what? I don't think this is accurate because Mothra is a little bit too big. Um, I feel like she should be like around that. Because um, what they say is that uh, she's 51 feet tall. Like when she's like this. So I kind of want to put her at like that, I think. Because Godzilla's like nearly 400 feet tall in the movie. And she's only like 51 feet. Which, speaking of which, let's bring out Rodan. Now, as you can see, this is not accurate at all because uh, the wingspan is also like very, um, very inaccurate because Mothra is bigger. And also, like them standing, like they're pretty much eye level. So, yeah, unfortunately, this is not accurate between these two. Although, Rodan is actually pretty accurate with Godzilla here. Like, I feel like this actually does work for what we get because we don't get them fighting. So, uh, yeah. And let's move on to the big one himself, King Ghidorah. Now, some people may say that this is inaccurate, but because he signed it over, I'm going to do something that not a people would appreciate. I'm going to take off the tails, and I'm going to stand up upright. So, when he's standing upright like this, he's decent, like, he could be a little bit taller, like, he could be, like, about this much bigger, but other than that, I feel like it's fine. Now, keep in mind, it is, like, slanted, so do keep that in mind, because, I mean, he's not standing up straight, like, it's not like he's freaking small or anything, he's not, like, freaking GMK. So, uh, so people don't say that uh, Ghidorah is tiny like this because he really isn't. He's just hunched over. I mean, seriously, like, we can tell that he's freaking hunched over, guys. I mean, come on. Have some common sense. And yeah, even with um, his wings like that, he can still, um, uh, I mean, he can still stand with the duct tape. Now, let's move on to um, Rodan and Mothra. So I'm going to pull out Rodan first, and uh, yeah, as you can see, this is a little bit accurate, maybe? And then here's Mothra, who I think these two are a little bit too big for this Ghidorah, so yeah, unfortunately, the sizing is not too good with uh, those two. So let's just bring out everybody else. And finally, Rarity, uh, these sets should not be rare at all. And they've been reissued, and apparently, these three sets have now better paint. Really? Freaking really? Alright, sorry about that. The camera had to, uh, re-record. So anyway, so yeah, um, these sets should not be rare. But I'm a little bit upset that these sets were reissued and now have better paint. The Ghidorah especially. So I may get those in the future. I don't know. Maybe just Ghidorah because I love Ghidorah that much. But I still don't like the fact that that we had to get these. These not as good freaking issues. But anyway. So that's it for this review. So um... So the sculpting on all these is good for what it is. Uh, the paint could use a little bit more work, 
Um, I feel like, um, uh, surprisingly enough, Ghidorah actually does the best because he's just this gold. Um, the side thing with all of them, like, I mean, despite the fact that they do come with each other, they're not size accurate, which is kind of surprising. And, um, in rarity, they shouldn't be that rare. Oh, yeah, and articulation, it's good for what it is. So overall, I'm going to give uh, probably uh, the uh, normal sets here with Godzilla and Ghidorah. Um, I'll give them an 8 out of 10. I really like that set the best. The Atomic Breath uh, version, or excuse me, uh, the Atomic version, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. While the Burning version, I'm going to give it a also a 7 out of 10. As you can tell, I kind of like the uh, normal version the best because I like King Ghidorah the best um, <laughs> amount of the three. And that's not to say that the sculpt, like the sculpt, um, I gotta give it to Rodan, but I just like uh, King Ghidorah better. So that's it for this review. So overall, like I feel like I could give uh, the um, of the three sets as a whole as a seven point five out of ten. A seven mainly because the sizing doesn't go too well. Uh, the painting, uh, the paint could use a little bit of work. And, um, yeah, that's mainly it. So that's it for this review, um, this long review, because I just reviewed all three of them. So, yeah, that's it for this review. So 7.5 out of 10 for these sets. And I'll see you guys later. Take care. Bye-bye.